There is one question about Vedic architecture and city planning in harmony with natural law. It's been mentioned by His Excellency Dr. Hegelin repeatedly in his presentations from his level of the president of the peace government of the US that all the 3,000 peace palaces around the world are going to be designed and constructed according to the principles of Vedic architecture in harmony with natural law. So the first question is, how does the design of a building have such a powerful influence on the happiness and fortune of a person living in it? And second part, how does it affect the governments of the world? And would Maharshi recommend the governments of the world to vacate their capital cities if they are in violation of these principles of Vedic architecture in harmony with natural law? The science of uh, Thapati Ved, the science of architecture, has its uh, basis in those principles <laughs> who put the physical galactic world, innumerable galaxies in empty space, and they are going on, and they are going on, and they are going on, and no one is hitting the other. No one is hitting the other. And every galaxy is expanding, universe is expanding, universe is expanding. So this is Thapatya Ved is, is establishing Ved on the practical level of the physical settlement in the universe. It's a great science, it's a great science. Whether it is understood by the people or not, but this science is that, that is called Vedic mathematics. It's Vedic mathematics, it's not human conceived, it's not humanly conceived, plus and minus and multiplications and divisions. No, no, this is this is too too narrow, too small, too restricted to be called really Vedic. The Vedic system of anything else, you know, music is Vedic, medicine is Vedic, the words are Vedic, you know, everything is Vedic. Vedic means pertaining to total knowledge. And pertaining to total knowledge means those principles which are true in the galactic world, in solar systems, in our globe Earth, in our northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, wherever, wherever, wherever. It is with reference to immortality of change. Everything is changing. Changing means all the galaxies. No galaxy is static. Everything is changing. Sun is not static. Moon is not static. Planets are not static. Earth is not static. Nothing is static. Everything is moving but is moving according to some laws. And those laws are eternal laws. They are natural laws. Eternal laws, natural laws. If the, if the Stapati Ved says, you should not have water body on the south, if you build a house with water body on the house, you will see, you will never get success in living in that house. You will not have mutual warm relationship with your friends, with your family here, there. There will always be some difficulties, difficulties. 
If the Sapatya way says you should have entrance in the east, if you put your entrance on the south, always people living there will be sick and all that, all that. So it is borne out with human experience that it is it is it is good and favorable to life and evolutionary to life to go by the formulas available for setting up the house in this direction, in this direction, in this direction, in this direction. All the laws, there are some 10, 20, 30 laws, that's all. It comes down to that thing. And then, if one doesn't do, then success is not there. The capitals of all the countries should be examined by the experts of Stapatis who are well versed in the science of Stapatya Ved and we have so many people we can send to the people they have they have been <laughs> for example when it comes to the to the to this uh, government buildings, capital buildings in India. All the government buildings have been built by the Britishers. They have no idea of Sapati Ved. All the buildings are topsy turvy, and all the fighting goes on all the time, everywhere, in all the offices in all the assembly house and all that, all that, all that. And this must be the case in every capital. If the capital is not properly laid out according to Vastu, then there will be no restfulness, there will be no harmony, there will be differences and like dogs barking each other, you listen to the stories, this party, that party, basis of all these conflicts of the parties, ruling parties, is a lot, a lot, maybe 90%, maybe 80% due to wrong placement of the buildings. It's very necessary to <laughs> We can only only tell the we can only tell the those who are the rulers of different countries if they if they agree they will be living in peace they will be serving their nations to the most of their ability otherwise their abilities are hampered by negativity from natural law. It's a very good point that is raised, and I had the chance to reflect on that thing. Everywhere, everywhere is the same thing. Buildings that are not built facing east, and buildings that are not built with, uh, with proper directions, directionality is not observed according to Stapati Ved, they must keep on fighting. They would not know why. They will not know why. They blame the people, you are like that, and you are like that, and you are. But the basic hindrance and lack of success and all the negativity, it belongs to the bad location of the buildings. In MIU, when I heard all that, how many buildings have been demolished, Dr. Morris, you can tell them your story of how many buildings you have demolished, and every building that is demolished brings a, a, a kind of restful relief to the whole population. People experience that thing. Tell them your experience of the negative buildings in, the, in your campus, 
and how many have been demolished and how many more are to be demolished.